Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of On the Glass. This is another episode of On the Glass, and this is going really well. I'm very excited about this. I love doing this for you guys. But like I said, this is a very special edition of On the Glass because I saw a news article yesterday, and it's been kind of brewing and and just like tearing at me, and I've had to have a day to digest it, and um, this is going to be a Jacksonville Jaguars rant. Most people say I don't talk bad about the Jaguars. Well, here goes. Stay tuned. Buckle up because it's about to happen. I'm very annoyed at an article that I saw. Most of you know me. Most of you know that I am a diehard Jacksonville Jaguars fan, but for those of you that will see this that do not know me personally, I am tried and true, Duval till we die, till and black, Jaguars 24-7, 365. I got a Jaguars tattoo on my left bicep. I named my first son after the team. His name is Jax. I am a season ticket holder, and it is 770 miles from my driveway to uh, TIAA Bank Field. I am a diehard Jaguars fan. I live in Louisville, Kentucky, have never lived in Jacksonville, Florida in my life, and I have loved the Jaguars since day one of this organization's inception. I am a Jaguars defender. I defend the Jaguars through and through here in the heart of Colts, Bengals, and Titans country. I stand alone, basically. I I am one of maybe 10 Jaguar fans that live in this area. So when I seen this article yesterday, you could say I got a little, little hot under the collar. So let's get into it. I saw an article with Jaguars president Mark uh, Lamping, Lamping, Lamping yesterday, and it really, really annoyed me. The one thing that he did say that was true was that they have done a crappy job of winning. No truer statement has been made. Outside the 2017 season, the Jacksonville Jaguars have been one of the worst franchises in the NFL in the 2010 decade. Period. You do not get worse than the Jacksonville Jaguars. Maybe the Cleveland Browns. Maybe. I'll give you the Cleveland Browns. But besides us and the Browns, nobody is worse than the Jacksonville Jaguars. And just like myself, there have been many fans, year in, year out, holding on to optimism that we don't quite understand why we were holding on to that optimism. But we were still here. Despite all the losing, despite all the busted draft picks, We're still here. We still support this team. We still buy gear. We still buy merchandise. We still buy tickets, home or away, to see this franchise play. Because it is the franchise that we love. So that wasn't bad. Mark was on to something with that quote. They haven't done a very good job of winning. The 2017 season was absolutely magical. I wish we could bottle that up and keep that feeling that we all had. Because since the 2017 season ended, it's been disappointment after disappointment, more heartbreak, heartbreak after that. It's just been terrible. It's been terrible again. But the thing that he said that I thoroughly disagree with and that kind of made me mad And I've literally been thinking about this since yesterday when I read the article. He said, we can't just sit back and assume that winning will cure everything. Not in this market. What exactly does that mean, Mark? Because let me tell you something. In 2017, that stadium was full. We had something to be excited about. We had a great product to watch. The offense was a little stale and stagnant at times, but that defense, 
That defense was exciting, and it got people into the stadium. Ramsey, Puzlesny, Jack, Campbell, Jackson, Boye. It could go on and on and on. We were excited. We were ready to pound our chest saying, yes, we are fans of the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm a member of every Jaguar group on Facebook, every single one. One of them is Forever Jaguars, 20,000 members strong of people just like me that love this franchise. Beyond any comprehension, beyond any reason, we love this franchise. And for you to say winning wouldn't cure everything not in this market is asinine. And it's a spit in the face to people like me that support this fan, uh, franchise no matter what happens. If winning doesn't cure everything, tell me why there's so many New England Patriots fans right now. Before Belichick and Brady got there, they were not that great of a franchise either. Now they are on top of the world. If winning doesn't cure everything, tell me why there's so many 49ers fans coming out of the woodwork this season. When two years ago in Levi Stadium, you could have paid $50 and sat on the sideline with the team, and for $100, they might have let you suit up and play. That place was a ghost town. And now it's sold out every game. The atmosphere is electric. If winning doesn't cure everything, then tell me about that. And then you want to say that you're looking at maybe expanding to two games in London next uh, in the 2021 season once this current deal with London is up. That, again, is a spit in the face of people like me who spend hard-earned money to buy season tickets and tickets to this franchise to see them play in TIAA Bank Field. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people love this franchise and want to see this franchise succeed. Let me tell you something, Mark. Let me tell you something, Con. This whole notion that the Jacksonville Jaguars are England's team is false. Look at any game that's played in London. You see tons of jerseys and other gear from other teams and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Eh. So that experiment has failed. And you're wanting to add another game over there? and take another game away from the people of Jacksonville, Florida, who support that team day in and day out, it's nuts. It's asinine. Let me tell you something, you two. I'm talking to you, Con and Mark. If you want people to support this franchise, if that's what you want, Shad, you're all about making money. If you want to make money, let me tell you how you make money in the NFL. You win, and you win on a consistent basis, and you put a product on the field that people will go and watch and support. It's as simple as that. And for you, Mark, to not think the winning won't solve everything, you're out of your mind. It's ridiculous to even assume that winning won't cure everything. Because you know what winning did cure? The tart problem that we had in 2017. Up until 2017. The tarps went away. For the playoff game against the Bills and then for the 2018 season. And let me tell you something. That was my first year of holding season tickets was 2018. And I've never seen that place more electric and more juiced up in my life than when I went and seen the New England Patriots come into the bank. Let me guess, winning, didn't, winning wasn't the reason for that? You're out of your mind. Winning was the reason, the only reason. Because we were excited for our football team. That's all it takes, win.
and win on a consistent basis. I know that don't seem like a whole lot to ask, but apparently for the Jacksonville Jaguars, it is. And apparently upper management and ownership needs to pull their collective head out of the you-know-what and start realizing that fans come when there's wins involved. And just because Jacksonville Jaguar fans don't show up to every game don't mean, mean we don't care. Believe me, we do. Get on Facebook. Create your little burner account and see the passion that is in the Jacksonville Jaguar fan base. And how there's that much passion, how there's that much passion when we have been a losing franchise pretty much since the inception is beyond me, but we are one of the most passionate fan bases in the NFL. And we can debate that all you want, but it's facts. Management, ownership, Get your head out of your butt. Hire some football people in there that actually know what they're doing. Bring some talent in. Put a good product on the field, and the people will come. We have showed you that before, and it will happen again. Bring a good, consistent product on the football field, and the bank will be rocking on Sundays. That's my rant, guys. That's my rant. It is something that had been bottling up inside me for a, uh, for a day, for a day. So I wanted to get on here and share my opinion of what was said with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And uh, for all you people that say I never bash the Jaguars, I just did. I bash the ownership and the upper management of the Jags. Hopefully we get this thing turned around down there. But with comments like Mark made, I'm not sold on it. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now, this video is going to go to a bunch of Florida people. So, Florida people, I know you're always in the market for sunglasses. And let me tell you about my friends at Shady Rays. Shady Rays has got some of the best sunglasses on the market today. And they offer a free lifetime warranty on their sunglasses for loss, broken. If, if you get mad and break your sunglasses at the middle of a Jaguars game, all you got to do is contact Shady Rays at ShadyRays.com or Shady Rays Facebook and uh, tell them what happened and all you got to do is pay for shipping and they will get you a new pair down to you. Be sure to check them out, Florida. They're a great company. If you want to get in contact with me, my email address is e uh, ontheglass34 at gmail.com, ontheglass34 at gmail.com. Questions, comments, concerns, anything you would like me to talk about on future episodes of On The Glass, be sure to hit up on the glass 34 at gmail.com. Leave me a comment below. Like and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, which will be tomorrow for a, uh, for a championship weekend preview in the NFL, we'll see you next time.